Short-term Bitcoin cost have risen in someone buying low and selling high in a cyclical blood sucking. Eight Ethereum spot ETFs approved simultaneously. SEC really went all out for Biden. Biden spends big to hire meme master. Will meme coins become new gateway for U.S. presidential election? Rune trading volume is plummeting. Will Rune spring the fleeting? Trading volume down 84%. Will the Rune market boom again? Promoting new work of split personality master disappears. Unexpectedly, some also got stood up. Web3 short drama premiere no show, marketing hype, or did Sun really get stood up? Reimagine the world with crypto, master 24 hour wealth code. Let's slowly get rich together. On Wednesday, May 22nd, here is the Bitcoin TV channel. So, how is the blockchain industry? I'm Zhu. Let's start with the 24 hour crypto headline sponsored by Deepcoin. At 4 a.m. yesterday, the US SEC officially approved the 19B4 filings for A spot Ethereum ETFs including major applicants like BlackRock, Fidelity, Grayscale, and others. After news broke, Ethereum didn't surge, but instead plunged, needling down from 3,900 to around 3,500, dropping nearly 10%. Although the 19B4 filings have been approved, issuers need to have their S1 registration statements become effective before they can start trading. Normally, it takes around one to six months between the 19B4 filings and S1 landing, as quickly as a few weeks ago or as slow as a few months. Before the subsequent S1 lands, Ethereum will likely have positive price expectations. However, Bitcoin is still following the broader macro trend of US stocks. After spot Ethereum ETF was approved, Ethereum's own TVL had the largest decrease of 4.38% in 24 hours. With little change in Ethereum's price, funds still showed a clear exodus with sentiment slightly retreating from before. This is consistent with the situation before the Bitcoin spot ETF was approved, with only a slight increase in the fast transaction gas fee from 6 to 8 GUI, which is almost negligible. It seems the approval of the spot Ethereum ETF did not add much activity to Ethereum chain. Additionally, in the past few days, Ethereum's open interest in futures contracts has risen from around 10 billion to 12.7 billion, an increase of nearly 27%, and it remains high even after news landed, indicating that the market sentiment is quite volatile and Ethereum is likely to see large fluctuations going forward. However, there are still some positive expectations that can be speculated on before the S1 filing becomes effective. Bitcoin has been fluctuating between 60,000 and 70,000 for nearly three months now, with the momentum to break through 73,000 to new highs clearly dissipating. Instead, in a constant cycle of buying now and selling high, short-term funds have been exchanging hands and bleeding. Previously, the funds accumulating around 60,000 have decreased significantly, shifting to accumulate in the 66,000 to 68,000 range. This is investors who bought around 60,000 taking profits and exchanging hands, indicating that the short-term cost of holding Bitcoin has arisen. In theory, rising costs should favor subsequent market rises, but there is a rather difficult misconception here, which is that it's all short-term funds speculating rather than nearly profit-taking funds exchanging hands. To put it bluntly, it seems someone is manipulating and controlling the market, using news to buy low and sell high in a cyclical blood-sucking. When there is a limited upside, it is recommended to hold positions and not move, or reduce positions on rallies. There have been new developments on whether the US SEC will approve a spot Ethereum ETF. The good news is that the SEC's official X account was not hacked this time. Asset Manager Van X application for a spot Ethereum. This ETF has been officially approved. The spot Ethereum ETF is finally coming. More importantly, the approval of the spot Ethereum ETF represents the SEC's acknowledgement that non-stake Ethereum is not a security. This is hugely significant for the entire crypto world. With the president of the Bitcoin spot ETF, the application process for the Ethereum spot ETF may be more streamlined, as many processes can be copy-pasted. When the Bitcoin spot ETF was approved, the S1 registration statement became effective just hours after 19B4 filing was approved. Obviously, the two cannot be measured in the same breath. Compared to the approval process for the Bitcoin spot ETF, the Ethereum spot ETF's experience was more like a hasty, forced move. So that's the big news coming in, that these ETFs based on the price of Ether have been approved uh, for the NASDAQ, the CBOE, and the New York Stock Exchange, potentially paving the way for these ETFs to be listed later this year. Remember, earlier this week, 
the um, the agencies themselves had largely predicted, as had many of the experts on our air, that this would be denied based on some of the commentary we had heard around the Bitcoin ETFs being approved. But in fact, you've got uh, Van, Ar Van Eck, ARK Investments. Early this morning, the U.S. SEC officially approves the 19B4 filings for eight Ethereum spot ETF applications. The approved applicants include BlackRock, Fidelity, Grayscale, Bitwise, Vanek, Arc, Invesco Galaxy, and Franklin Templeton. However, after the 19B4 filings are approved, the issuers still need to wait for the SEC to approve their S1 registration statements before they can officially begin trading. Additionally, Vanek has already submitted a revised S1 application for its Ethereum Spot ETF. Following this, Vanek posted an Ethereum advertisement on their X platform. Could it be the fuel to a less centralized open source economy? Could it be a future with peer to peer marketplaces, payments, and no middlemen fees? At around 4 a.m., Ethereum is suspected to have plunged 3,523 due to online rumors that the SEC will delay the spot Ethereum ETF decision by six hours, but rebounded after the rumor was refuted. In fact, the approval of the spot Ethereum ETF was traceable. First, on May 22nd, Van Eck spot Ethereum ETF was already listed on the website of the U.S. Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation. Now, with the SEC's final approval, everything is settled. Secondly, the key issue has been resolved, since staking rewards are viewed as passive income for traders. In the latest revised 19B4 application, several issuers have removed the staking clause, and the Spot Ethereum ETF will not include staking. However, the launch of the Spot Ethereum ETF product is only the first step after passing 19B4 application. Subsequently, issuers still need to complete the effectiveness of the S1 registration statement. This means that the timing of the official start of trading for a spot Ethereum ETF will depend on when the S1 becomes effective, which company will become the first to list its spot Ethereum ETF product has become a new question, and a frenzy the race has already begun. With the upcoming US presidential election, crypto market and related issues have gradually entered the public eye, and the relevant topics have thus become political tools for various presidential candidates. Trump's previous moves, including opening up cryptocurrency donations, stating that he would appropriately loosen regulations to promote financial innovation and repeatedly issuing personal NFTs, were quite obvious political tactics. On the other hand, Biden originally gave the public the impression of being hostile towards crypto, including Proposition A, digital asset. Uh, With the upcoming U.S. presidential election, crypto market and related issues have gradually entered the public eye, and the relevant topics have thus become political tools for various presidential candidates. Trump's previous moves, including opening up cryptocurrency donations, stating that he would appropriately loosen regulations to promote financial innovation, and repeatedly issuing personal NFTs, were quite obvious political tactics. On the other hand, Biden originally gave the public the impression of being hostile towards crypto, including proposing a digital asset mining energy tax targeting mining companies in his 2025 tax policy proposal. However, he unexpectedly approved the Ethereum ETF recently, which is such an obvious attempt to gain votes. Will this move be able to help Biden regain some ground? Due to difficulties in attracting Gen Z voters, President Biden's re-election team recently posted a job for a partnership manager. One successful applicant will be responsible for launching and managing the daily operations of engaging with internet trading content and meme pages. According to Indeed, the Biden team will pay the meme manager an annual salary of $65,000 to $85,000 in Wellington, Delaware, slightly above the average salary for digital marketers in the U.S. Isn't the salary Biden is offering a bit insincere? This is a position to help him win power. It should at least start at six figures, right? So just kidding, it's not hard to see that this 
octogenarian is trying hard to win the support of young voters. In fact, Biden has made efforts before. In early 2022, his campaign team adopted the dark brand laser eyes meme in an attempt to portray the 81-year-old as internet savvy. But he personally disliked it. In contrast, another presidential candidate seems much more friendly towards crypto memes. His photo taken in August 2023 while receiving his fourth indictment at the Fulton County Jail went viral quickly. His campaign team seized the opportunity and immediately started selling merchandise like t-shirts, mugs, and goods featuring the image and in December launched the Mark Shot NFT series. In early May, after Trump made a pro-crypto statement, the Trump-themed MAGA meme coin rebounded. It can be said that on the road to crypto, Biden really needs to put in some effort to surpass Trump's popularity in the short term. Bitcoin Rune is the latest non-fungible token protocol in the Bitcoin ecosystem, aiming to address the issues with the BRC20 token standard. They operate in Bitcoin's unspent transaction output UTXO model to replace the technology of ordinals. This protocol, which launched alongside Bitcoin's fourth halving event, sparked a wave inscribing Rune mania causing Bitcoin transaction fees to soar. On the launch day, miners earned 80.74 million in fees alone, far exceeding the 26.28 million block rewards. On April 23rd, Runes accounted for a peak of 81.73% transactions. But then, Runes entered the downtrend. 4月23号 ，Runes 交易笔数占比达 81.3% 的峰值，但到5月2号降至 11.1% 在5月4号至6号的周末。Runes 交易再度回升，但总体呈下降趋势。截至5月22号 ，Runes 交易笔数占比 12.7% 远高于 Bitcoin o r d i n a n c e 0.7% 和 BRC 2 0 1.5% 自历史高点以来 ，Runes 交易笔数下降 84% 以上。Terra Wolf 的联合创始人兼首席执行官 Nancy c o h e n 对此表示：“符文和叙述正在展示区块空间的价值。”比特币网络是存在的最具中心化、安全和强大的网络，因此将会有用力和价值从该区块空间中产生。So ordinals brought in a huge mass of just like degens who like just wanted to play and like have fun and make money and pump their like Pepe bags. The launch of runes did not disappoint, at least initially. Are runes a fleeting fashion, or will they bring a new future for Bitcoin and its trading volume? In fact, the real market opportunity for the rune protocol may only emerge a few months after the first wave of investor hype has subsided. Looking ahead, holding top ordinals like Bitcoin puppets, node monkeys, and rune stones may be a wise move, as their market position makes them likely to become key leaders in the Bitcoin ecosystem. When it comes to the vertical short dramas, everyone is familiar with them. Since last year, short dramas have begun to fully invade the short video platforms. One minute, three spot, three plot twists, rebirths, come, mail, revenge, wealthy family, melodrama, all kinds of short, frequent and fast content wrapped in humanity's secret desires have repeatedly occupied users' minds with stimulating pressure points. OK， 这个重新再来一下 ，Sorry， 五点一，五点一，重新来。When it comes to vertical short dramas, everyone is familiar with them. Since the last year, short dramas have begun to fully invade short video platforms. One minute, three plot twists, rebirths, scum, male revenge, wealthy family melodrama, all kinds of short, frequent, and fast content wrapped in humanity's secret desires. Have rapidly occupied users' minds with stimulating pleasure points, becoming a money-making tool that users are willing to pay for, even sparking a spiritual opium craze overseas. This year, users who have had enough wealthy family feuds have transformed into supporting characters, with Mother Wen and Butler Li becoming popular. The short drama industry has also moved towards regularization and premium content under improving rules. And just recently, it seems the wind of short dramas has finally blown into Web3. We previously reported on the first Web3 native short drama, Born Again as a Crypto Tycoon. This drama caused a small stir in the industry at the launch of ceremony with the Chinese are naturally smart, Satoshi Nakamoto Pang. According to Huo Bi, HTX official social media, the Web3 native short drama Rebirth, becoming a big boss in the crypto world. Produced by T Show, was scheduled to premiere on May 22nd, Bitcoin Pizza Day, exclusively on Huobi HTX. However, the drama did not air as promised. 
causing widespread dissatisfaction within the community. People are demanding an explanation from the production team, and we have contracted the investors of the drama. The investors stated that the film is with the chief director, the Urchaisi, who is unwilling to release it. Meanwhile, the chief director released an article expressing his dissatisfaction with the absence of T. Sho and the main creative team's names on the premiere day live poster by Huo B. H. T. X. He also emphasized that he did not want his work to become a tool for Justin Sun to explore the community. We tried to contact the director for a response, but he did not answer the calls. Many have questioned whether this was a publicity stunt, as the director's speed personality master does have a track record. Although most people may not be very familiar with him, Split Personality Master was one of the famous Chinese internet influencers who launched the fame of Guo Mei Mei. He previously planned and hyped up false events like the monk ship shaking incident and sugar daddy took me to the Olympics. Due to excessive manipulation of public opinion, he was sentenced to four years in prison and fined 150,000 yuan for illegal business operations. Now, with your drama writing on Sun's name, it doesn't seem right to stand him up, and I'm not even sure if Sun knows about this. Will Sun face any consequences for this director standing him up? We're quite looking forward to how this develops. According to a review report released on Thursday, the Bancroft cryptocurrency exchange FTX paid over $25 million to seven unnamed whistleblowers who discovered issues within the company. The U.S. House of Representatives has passed a bill that prohibits the Federal Reserve from creating a central bank digital currency (CBDC). Some analysts note that the bill currently has little impact on the cryptocurrency market. Chip manufacturer Nvidia posted impressive first quarter results, and its market value has surpassed the total market value of all listed companies in Germany. Factset data shows that as of Wednesday, the total market value of companies listed on Germany was about 2.51 trillion dollars. According to Coinbase chief legal officer, Coinbase has been authorized to trade XRP in New York State. Coinbase established a strong partnership with the New York State government to facilitate this. YGG posted on the X platform warning that the scammers are impersonating YGG through emails, promoting a recently concluded roaming airdrop event to steal personal information from the YGG community. Users are advised not to click on any recent emails about claiming token rewards from YGG. The original Doge Kabusu. The iconic figure behind the meme coin Dogecoin departed from us at 7 p.m. on May 24th at the age of 18. However, its adorable image will continue to accompany Dogecoin, staying within the cryptocurrency community.